Hey, it's Kelly Betts back again after a pandemic in the Clicks bathroom. Today, I am joined by Bradley and Slater of My Twins. Do you see what I see, which is like PDM bands, which is to say punk bands getting catchier? Do you fit into that, or have you already have you always been on the uh, more accessible side of things? That's a multi-part question. I will say I do hear a lot of PDM bands getting catchier. Like, there's a lot more songs, but they're still, like, visceral and crazy. And I also do feel like our music is punk adjacent. I started with, like, a lot of the early 2000s, like, emo stuff, Warp Tour, shit like that. And then, like, Slater started with metal bands and shit. What? I just thought about pulling down my pants. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but... I'm already on the toilet. <laughs> the other weird part about you is that you also have a foot in the hip-hop world. What is your relationship to Oliver Francis? You don't really want no smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I be you with all my bros. No, we always stay ten toes. Mm -hmm. This game. Maybe I'm a different breed. Ooh. You gon' make me bare my teeth. Mm -hmm. We had uh, been in the same places, you know, like, not necessarily playing shows together, but I had been to some of his early shows with like his band Glory Days, and I had no fucking idea. But we met through mutual friends, and then uh, he wanted to do a rock project, so I played guitar. And then after that, he wanted to go back to doing DJ sets, and he asked me to do it. And that's just that was my first uh, step into DJing. But really, it's just I don't know. He treats his friends great, and. He wants to lift his friends up, so he gave me a chance to kind of figure out how to do that. I don't want to, like, waste my opportunity to ask you on camera about some of your tattoos. What's going on with your hands? Let's just cover that. I was 16 years old. I was on house arrest. <laughs> and I was really feeling the live free vibe. A lot of people ask me if it was a straight edge kind of thing. And it was a mixture of that at the time. I was a good little Christian boy. I went to youth groups and all of that stuff. I love the Devil Wears Prada, August Burns Red, and Under Oath and shit like that. Christopher Drew from Never Shout Never has this exact <laughs> tattoo, and I didn't find out until uh, my dad was setting up to do the tattoo, and I was like, ah, I'm going to get it anyway. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I didn't even know that's what his hand said. <laughs> and I'm like the biggest fan. You've hung out with him. You like you know. Oh, I didn't him. look at his hands. Mexico, Missouri. I know it's been called like Methico, different things. There seems to be a correlation between it being so troubled and there being so many creative people. Can you just speak on that town and uh, the artist? I think for the most part, um, expression comes from intense emotions, and uh, being low income uh, causes a lot of pain. Being in poverty causes a lot of frustration, and a lot of us grew up with like single parents moving year to year and there's nothing to do in Mexico. You're just bouncing house to house, really. So, I mean, it's either buckle down and learn a hobby or like just burn out. It's also like we come together and we bring each other up. Like Brad was talking about with the Oliver Francis stuff, like we just want to see each other succeed. How do you see the Como scene right now? How do you see yourself uh, fitting in to, to that uh, moving and evolving scene? The Como scene, I would say 10 years ago, country and folk inspired from what a lot of the bands that were coming up. And me and Bradley even rode that wave. We were in a band called the Havana Honeys together. Mumford and Sons. Mumford and Sons was popping off. Stomp, yeah, stomp clap, hey. Music. Stomp, clap, hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These days, though, I don't think people really appreciate what PDM is doing for the local scene. I agree. It's a place where people can come together and just let loose. I think it's just hard where we sit genre-wise because we are kind of a little amorphous. Like, should we play a PDM show or should we play at Rose? Yeah. And Rose has been really heavy on pop country and and uh, pretty much pop country. That's where the crowd is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so that's what's being booked there. We have a lot of friends, and like we really want to lift up like the people younger than us. Like I feel like bands like Manny Petty and Hang Your Hate are like yeah. slamming. They've made us feel welcome kind of around the younger crowd, which is, you know, hard uh, being a little bit older and just like we we don't go play those house shows you know that's their thing they're right. they're younger than us they do that that's young cool. people deserve young spaces exactly 100 percent. that's not our space i'll go to any show i can to make sure that there's another person standing in the audience like i want to 
<laughs> I want to rock with everyone, man. It's yeah. I don't know. On that note. It's getting sweaty. Dude, we so it, it, it is setting in on a physical level that we are in the clicks bathroom. Yeah. So thanks so much for talking to me, you guys. Yeah, this was this you. was fun. Yeah, yeah good stuff. And uh, let's go watch you play at Rose. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs>